Hey guys, it's your boy Roman here again with another video and this week your boy will be doing something different Teacher reacts to coronavirus memes Let's talk about it So here to that you have this parent and the school says we're shutting down keep our kids home and the parents are like Keep them in my house Where I live <laughs> You know, I mean I personally find this funny because um it, because it, I don't know, it, it just, it's just so real because often parents don't want their kids at home so they send them to school to get rid of them so no, <laughs> with this um, coronavirus thing, the quarantine parents are like, oh my god, what should I do with the kids at home? <laughs> I just find that extremely funny then there's another one that says homeschooling going great two students suspended for fighting one student in detention for talking back and one teacher fired <laughs> For drinking tequila on the job, oh my god. Homeschool curriculum, cooking 101, washing, di washing dishes 101A, laundry 102, sewing 102A, vacuuming 103, and garbage 104. So it's just a time for chores, chores, and more chores. This, this couple, um, this guy is saying, You smell so nice, what are you wearing? <laughs> and the she says, That all. <laughs> I mean, it, it's ridiculous because um, <laughs> during this coronavirus outbreak, some persons have been drenching themselves <laughs> in cleaning products in detergent. I've even seen this video on the Daily Show where um, a parent was spraying his son, <laughs> was spraying his son after he went to pick him up from school. And I, I mean, these things, these things are just they're, they're they're crazy, crazy. Trust me. Oh, and then there's this this, this there's this other one. So me in quarantine. <laughs> so before. <laughs> And me after because all those quarantine snacks, they're going down. They're going down. Oh, uh, that is that is just crazy. That's crazy. Then there's this. Um, so let's let's check out. Let's check out this one too. So here, ah, la 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 la. It's like nail salons closed, lash salons <laughs> closed, hair salons closed. It's about to get ugly out here. <laughs> so so for all those persons who you live as a walking mannequin or a cosmetic shop then corona isn't doing you well <laughs> oh my god like who, who finds time to make these things like seriously honestly oh and then there's this one that i really enjoy so it's in spanish so i'll translate other companies we will suspend work because of coronavirus my company perhaps some will die or oh, maybe i should try donald trump impersonation perhaps some will die but it's okay <laughs> I can't do that with a straight face but it's okay okay I can't do that <laughs> I can't do that I'll just I'll, I'll, I I can okay let's see if I can do my best Donald Trump in, uh, impression perhaps some of us will die but it's okay it's okay it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to accept. <laughs> or, or something, I don't know, I, I, I'm not gonna Donald Trump, but I, I just find that in my head it sounded funny. Ah, yeah, it's fine. Alright guys, so even though I said um, I'm focusing on memes, there are some videos too which I, I will include. Ah, it's, I suppose it's fine. Because I just find them extremely funny. I might show, I might show a one. clip. There is scratching, there is hair pulling, there is a fuckload of apocalyptic panic buying. There it is on the ground. <laughs> oh, the cure this, for this is just hilarious, a guys. Um, people fighting over a toilet paper. The supermarket staff are stepping in. <laughs> it's so crazy because when I go to the supermarket, there are no toilet papers, but there's food, there's soap, and I'm like, why, do you, why are you guys like hoarding the toilet papers? Don't you need like soap? I mean, come on, if you're out of toilet papers, it's not that serious. You have a shower. Think about it, you know? <laughs> so, Alright guys, so with that said, let's end this video on a serious note. Alright, so this incident has not been easy for persons who are still working, such as teachers, nurses, doctors, and so forth. It's really challenging, trust me. But because I'm not a nurse, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I'm not anything else, but I'm a teacher, I can speak from the teacher's perspective. This has been more challenging than usual because normally when you're in a classroom, you explain the instructions once, you say something one time, and that's it. But with the coronavirus and the confinement, we have to go to online, and even when we give instructions online, you still have students who are messaging individually, 
and sometimes every single student will message you i'm exaggerating of course you find numerous students messaging you you respond to the same questions over and over even though there are instructions in a centralized place but nonetheless you have to be understanding because everyone is confused and you have to try to regulate the situation as best as possible so it is much more tedious it is also very difficult to give the students the best experience because we can only do so much and no more online and even when we have face-to-face -face classes it's still challenging you need to have a good internet connection some students for whatever reason monitor reasons other reasons cannot do online classes it is the reality it is challenging and so as teachers we have to find interesting ways great ways of how to make the best out of the situation and I made a post online on my social media I believe on Instagram asking persons teachers how they've been handling the situation how it has been for them and yeah let's read what they say all right so this is coming from Long Dao you guys know her she's very popular in my videos right so she's currently in Cambod Cambod Cambodge I have no idea but I put the spelling that um, they have to stay home for 14 days to ensure that they are okay but if they leave their homes within these 14 days then they'll have to return and their 14 day period start over so that's very challenging so she's stuck at home trying her best to have online classes and trust me it's not as, it's not as easy as some persons might, might think and then I have another message from um, alright so for this person I won't say his name <laughs> Let's see students here, so let's call him John. Right, so John says, I'm dying with teaching online and having students on my WhatsApp. Big mistake. Not to mention marking tons of work to load grades online. Alright, so this is what um, Isaac sent and Isaac is currently working in Russia. So this is what he's saying. Work from home is really challenging. There's no learning experience for them. I mean, for instance, my fifth graders need to see and do on their own the science experiments. I guess everyone should be ready for distance learning, but the virus caught us off guard. Oh yeah, <laughs> that ended. I don't know why I was on a high, on a high. So yeah, so that ended. But basically, this is this has been a very challenging experience, and in no way is it is it easy. However, this video will be a little bit informative since I will be giving some advice to teachers about how they can survive during this pandemic. So the first one is Edmodo, which is a virtual area where you can upload documents. You, the students who don't know them, you could create assignments and put a deadline where the, after the deadline the assignments can't be accessed anymore. So you can actually do that and students can upload the assignments, they can interact through through what we post, you can make general, general announcements. You could create various classrooms. I'll put the links below. And in collaboration with Edmodo, I use um, Google Docs. So Google Docs is my second point, second um, software or platform. But I use it in collaboration with Edmodo, where students could type their work and I could see that who is working on it. I could put a document and see how students are managing it or if they're actually working together. With your Google Docs, it is typically your Microsoft, your online Microsoft Office. It has all the functions. I've even used it to generate my register and that's why I keep track of students. You can do it yourself and edit their names. I'm saying present absent, you can make them put it there. My third resource is um, Zoom. Zoom is just for face-to-face -face contact. Usually it's for meetings, but you can use it for online, for online classes as well. Um, it can also up to 50 persons once it's more than two then it's 40 minutes per session it also records the conversation or the session afterwards so it's quite useful but again you need to have a good internet connection the fourth thing you can do is believe it or not it is YouTube but the thing with YouTube is that it's only the teacher who will be seen so you will do a live stream make it private make it unlisted share it with your students so you could communicate with them it's like a lecture and you can see who's present they can type questions you can keep track of them and the I don't know which number I'm at but the next one is you can also use Google Classroom this now was recommended by Isaac so I mentioned him earlier um, it's a little virtual online classroom it has a lot of functionalities a lot it has all of what I've said before and in terms of the video calling aspect you just link it to Google Hangouts and voila you can communicate so with that said guys to all my teachers out there if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'll also put links in the description box. Um, if you have any suggestions, anything new, just simply 
put them as well. It would be useful and I could put it out in my resource or my network. And on a second note, for all those who you have any more funny memes, interesting memes, simply share it with me. I mean, it's a hard time, but we must find humor in such a challenging situation. But just stay calm, relax. This too shall pass. And for our students, how are you guys enjoying the time? I mean, I know some students are complaining. Oh my God, when did school restart? I hate staying home. I don't want to do chores, but... Ah, oh, come on. I would love staying home. And as usual, guys, it's been a pleasure. So I will see you guys next week. Ciao, ciao. Kage munchi no jutsu. Damn! <laughs> Damn, boy!